Hey, you, yeah, you, make sure to subscribe to watch all my newest videos and join the Clash Bro family. With that being said, if you need gems to build the best base in Clash of Clans, make sure to check out the description down below for cashforapps.com for your iOS or Android and make sure to use the code ELG to get started with some free points. Enjoy the video. What's up Clash Bros? Welcome back to another episode of Another Road to Another Max Town Hall number 11. We have finished all of our upgrades in the previous episode. In the last episode, we were able to upgrade a Wizard Tower, Mortar, Barbarian King, Dark Elixir Drill, in the Healers! We once again have almost max loot in our storages, but we will go out and try to fill our storages the rest of the way. But before we go, we have a bunch of overgrown bushes and trees in our village. We will go ahead and get rid of all of those. And with only about a week's worth of overgrowth, we were able to grab 76 gems. That's not bad. So that means in a month, we accumulate around 230 free gems. So we definitely have to thank Supercell that they are giving away so many gems to everybody every single month. 230 gems. That's like $2.30 worth of gems a week that they're giving you to play their game. That's pretty cool, Supercell. Thank you. I never thought about it that way. Let's go ahead and get into our first attacks. All right, just like our normal Bart strategy, which we, we will be using in this episode, we're just going around farming the outside of bases, doing our normal strategy, trying to get these upgrades or our storages filled so we get these upgrades done on our Town Hall 8. We are moving pretty well along with our Town Hall 8. I'm very impressed with how well we are doing, especially when I'm only upgrading while I record. I can definitely upgrade a lot more if I wasn't recording my upgrades but because we are recording it is a slower process so some of you may be upgrading a lot faster than I am if you're a town hall 8 but then again you guys don't have to wait to record your videos but I hope you are kind of along with me town hall 8 I feel is where a lot of the majority of the people are at that are playing clash of clans is town hall 8 you definitely see town hall 8 in town hall 7 probably more than any other bases Besides maybe some rushed Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s, you see those quite a bit as well. Um, and I'm kind of going to go into a video of explaining why you do not want to rush your base. I got actually some cool videos that I'm actually going to start working on. I put all these cool videos off because they take so much work and I want to get these videos out to you guys that I kind of just ignore um, these really cool videos that I can do. I dropped a heal spell right there at the end, which was definitely a waste. I got the 50% a lot quicker than I thought I was going to be able to get. But yeah, I got some cool videos. Hopefully, I'll get out on the way. I was working um, on a video this morning. getting all. It's actually taken me uh, probably about an hour, and I've only written stuff down. I have yet to record a single thing, but it should be a really cool video. It's never been done before. Um, it's only a once in a, like a one-time video, kind of like my uh, biggest jerk in Clash of Clans or on YouTube or whatever. Um, where I went ahead and lightning everybody's dark elixir storages and it's so frowned upon in the community and I knew everybody would hate it. Got a lot of dislikes on that video. For the amount of views, there's a lot of dislikes. And I knew it would be and I, I made it for that point because, you know, it's so, so voodoo back in the day. A lot of you may not even know that you could lightning people's dark elixir storages for elixir and it was how a lot of people got their barbarian kings. But they took that away. So right before they took it away, I went ahead and lightning spells everybody's dark elixir and actually got my Barbarian King upgraded to level 5 because of that. And then they took it away the next day. But it was really cool to do that video. It was a once, you know, in a lifetime kind of video. Never will be able to do it again. But yeah, everybody, you know, was so against it that it was the only video of its kind. It still is the only video of the kind. And it'll never be a video that'll be able to be duplicated ever again. How cool is that, that us Clash Bros have once in a lifetime video. If you haven't checked out that video, that video is awesome. Um, it's called, I'll maybe link it uh, at the end of the video or in the, uh, just, well, I probably won't link it in the description. But go ahead, check out uh, my previous video. It's the biggest jerk on YouTube or, mo yeah, it's something like that. Most hated video on YouTube. Biggest jerk on Clash of Clans. It's a pretty cool video if you haven't seen it already. But uh, farming some more. Uh, Town Hall 8 is looking pretty well. It's about like this guy's base right here. Uh, nothing's like way overly upgraded, but we're pretty much 
got everything to what uh, a max Town Hall 7 would be with all of our new items that we got for Town Hall 8. So we are moving pretty well along. I like that. Um, the only thing that we really need to start upgrading is our troops. Our troops is a big priority. So that's why I really want to get uh, as much elixir as possible. And we need to start farming some more dark elixir. So we will be doing another dark elixir farming video. Uh, maybe I'll do like one video. We'll just max out all of our regular storages. And then one video I'll really work on farming for dark elixir. Um, and try to go back and forth with those so we do not neglect any of our Dark Elixir troops because we really want to get our Barbarian King upgraded and we really want to get our Dark Elixir troops upgraded. So those are big priorities. I also need to work on walls and I'm kind of like, uh, you know, not looking forward to that uh, because once I start to get to walls, it's going to be a grind, you guys, and no, you know, farming walls, I'll learn it. If I was just, just to farm walls, I probably can get, what, about 6 million in loot um, max if I get my other uh, storage out. So, you know, with 6 million in gold, I don't know if you can upgrade uh, the walls with Elixir yet at Town Hall 8. If you can, that'll be really nice. But basically, you know, it will take me probably maybe 10 episodes, 15 episodes. So that might be something I do in the off time, like not recording my walls, because that would get really boring. 15 episodes of just watching me, you know, farm walls. That's I'm kind of, you know, not looking forward to that. All right, we are finishing up on this base. I am trying to grab some Dark Elixir right here, um, just to get our Dark Elixir going, so that way in the next episode it won't be as difficult to get as much Dark Elixir, because it does take a while to grab Dark Elixir. I farm this much loot in probably about an hour. It doesn't take a, a long time to farm, uh, you know, four million of each resource with only Barch. It's actually really nice. This uh, attack, though, I decided to go all in on this base. I wanted this base to actually be my last attack. And I was like, I'm going to go all in, go all out. And I was like kind of spreading out my troops, letting them go every which way. I really thought I had this attack in the bag. But that's why I bring a heal spell. It would have been really good to have a heal spell in the middle. So that way that mortar wasn't taking out all those troops in the center. Drop another rage spell and look what's left. Nothing. Nothing is in the center of that freaking rage spell. Ah, oh, another wasted spell. That's two spells wasted on this video. And so we let our dragon finish off that attack. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I really thought we could have easily three-starred this base. Um, but I spread out my troops too much. I shouldn't add my troops go along the outside I should have dropped them uh, more into the center towards that mortar to get rid of that um, Because that really hurt us, but uh, yeah, that's the last of our attack the dragons gonna go down Won't be able to finish off this attack It would be really cool if though if you just threw one big fireball across the village and destroyed it all That would be awesome. So we didn't grab nearly as much loot as I wanted that was actually supposed to be my last attack but I decided to do one more attack because I really wanted to max out at least my gold. So this village was another easy village to attack. I just sprinkle around a little bit of my archers all around the base. Grab as many free buildings as possible so I don't waste as many troops. Um, and then start laying down on uh, my barbarians and archers on the buildings that are not free buildings. So we should be able to grab all or fill up our gold right here. Let's see. We'll be really close. Yes. Wow, only about a thousand extra. So we filled it up just barely. We Not too much gold went to waste, so that's cool. Now we're at 25%, filling our uh, percentage up, trying to get to that 50%. Shouldn't be too tough. I do have a dragon in my clan castle if I need it, but doesn't look like I will. Um, but I did have a little bit of extra elixir right there to grab, and I wanted to grab all the elixir, dark elixir, I mean. So I went ahead and dropped the dragon down. So I grabbed more than the percentage I needed, but that uh, is the attack right there. And we were able to fill our gold storages with 3.6 million in elixir. All right, now that we've finished all of our attacks, now we need to spend our loot efficiently. Let's start off with our gold upgrades. This is everything we are able to upgrade with our gold. I'd really love to spend all my gold upgrading one of my wizard towers to max but then we will have too many builders left laying around being lazy. We will have to maximize our loot to make sure we are upgrading as many things as possible, but also upgrading important items as well. 
In the previous episodes, I have been talking about getting an air defense upgraded. I'm not going to push it off anymore. I, I'm i not going to push it off anymore, and we will go ahead and get one of the air defenses upgraded. That will leave us with a little under 3 million in gold left. We still have one more wizard tower as well that we can upgrade to level 5, and that will cost us just under 2 million. That will leave us with enough loot to get one cannon upgraded and only leave us with a little under 200,000 gold left. I am happy with that and we were able to use three of our four builders. Now with our elixir, we are in a different situation. Most of it is very expensive. That means we will only be able to get one or two things upgraded with our elixir. But our most important upgrades to me at this point is getting one of our troops upgraded. With all the upgrades I can do, I will go ahead and spend my elixir on the most expensive troops possible. That will leave us with the dragon and rage spell. Each of those are 3 million. At first I was going to pick the rage spell because that is a universal spell that I can use in most of my attacks instead of spending it on dragons. But after thinking about it for a few seconds, I decided to upgrade my dragons because I wanted to be able to help the clan out. It will help me end them in clan wars with my attacks along with donations since we are at perk 6, I get an upgraded level for every troop donated. Now that uses almost all of my elixir, but still leaves one builder open. I could save my elixir and start saving up for my next troop upgrade, but I'd really like to get something else upgraded. And pretty much the only thing I can upgrade at this point is one of my gold mines, which isn't a bad thing to upgrade. It will help us from here on out with producing gold, and producing more loot is never a bad thing. Well there it is, we were once again able to get 5 things upgraded on our tunnel 8. Wizard tower, air defense, cannon, gold mine, and dragons. And most of those are very expensive upgrades. Not a bad day of farming. And that concludes another episode of Another Road to Another Max Town Hall number 11. Hope you enjoyed the video. And now it's time for everybody's favorite game, Stinky Pinky. It's time to play the game Stinky Pinky, a word game called Stinky Pinky. Everybody loves the game Stinky Pinky. It's Time to play the game Stinky Pinky, a word game called Stinky Pinky. I'm the best at Stinky Pinky. Everybody loves the game Stinky Pinky. Stinky Pinky is a wordplay game where you describe two words that rhyme, but you can't use those words in the description. If I was to give you Smelly Finger, you would give me Stinky Pinky. Last video Stinky Pinky was Sluggish Bird. And the answer was Slow Crow. And the Clash Pro got the answer correct first was... It was actually two Clash Pros because I couldn't tell who commented first. So they both win. And that is Jake Boat SG Games and John Kinji. Great job, Clash Bros. Hold your stinky pinkies high up in the air. You are today's winner. If you would like to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is be the first person to answer the correct Stinky Pinky in the comments. This video Stinky Pinky will be Takeaway Permission. If you enjoyed today's video, show all your love by smashing the like button. Want to be a part of the Clash Bro family? All you have to do is subscribe, tell your friends and clanmates about this channel and have them join the Clash Bro family. Hope you guys have a great day and don't forget my Clash Bros to stay beautiful make it drop honey uh.